Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Rod Stewart has revealed he has no fear about death ahead of his 80th birthday, adding he aims to stick around for another 15 years, but has acknowledged his days are numbered. But, despite the rocker getting on in age, he insists he still has no desire to tone down his rock and roll lifestyle. He began his final Las Vegas residency, after 13 years in the city, on Wednesday, and Rod promises to continue performing and partying into his 90s. Rod told the son, I'm aware my days are numbered, but I've got no fear. We have all got to pass on at some point, so we are all in the same basket. I am going to be enjoying myself for these last few years as much as I can. I say few, probably another 15. I can do that easy mate, easy. He admitted, I'm not like I was in the 70s and 80s, and I can't stay up all night, get drunk and go mad and still have a voice just like that. Nowadays, I have to protect my voice before and after every show. But Rod insisted, but no, you think I just have water on my rider? You're talking to Rod Stewart here, mate. We go mad after every show. There are 13 of us, 6 women, really great musicians, and I make them drink. We absolutely love it. Rod, who has had both prostate and thyroid cancer, said, I am more aware of my health now than before. You should be when you start getting on a bit. It's very important. I am a bit of a hypochondriac. I think men in particular should take advantage of all the wonderful medical science out there. Despite this, he revealed he doesn't take any medication at all apart from the odd anti-inflammatory if his knee is giving him trouble. Rod said he works out three or four times a day and is kept on the straight and narrow by his personal trainer whom he has been working with for over three decades. He is currently constructing a racing track at his Essex mansion to aid him on his mission to break the world record for the 100-meter sprint in his age group. Though Rod is leaving Sin City, where he sold 90% capacity each night, he may be back on stage sooner rather than later. Ron hinted that a short UK tour with Jules Holland is on the cards to support their 2024 joint album Swing Fever. For his 80th birthday in January, Rod knows that he will be having a blowout party but revealed that his wife Penny Lancaster, 53, has kept him in the dark about any further details. His eight children are also said to be heavily involved in the planning. Rod married his amazing third wife Penny, a model, in 2007. The rock singer, who has sold over 120 million records worldwide, shared that he and Penny still enjoy romantic dinners and she will traveling from England to visit him in LA on Monday. When asked for the secret to a happy relationship, Rod said be honest, talk things through, and don't argue before bed especially if you have both had a tipple. Rod ends his final Las Vegas residency, the hits at the Coliseum, Caesars Palace, on August 7th.